Okay, hello, hello. I'm Golan Dreamland, and I'm starting to make some tutorials on how to make music with uh, Ableton Live. How I'm making music, I'm showing you a couple of things, some tricks. This time I'm gonna show you a trick how I'm using Ableton Ping Delay for mixing. So we shall start. Now you will see I made this small example project in Ableton Live. So uh, there is two sounds. Uh, you see two sounds here, like one track and track two. So I will first play you track one. You will hear it. So it sounds like this. Okay, and then track number two. Okay, so both of these tracks have a ping delay. You see it here. Uh, I usually put, group them to tracks, so there is like a dry signal here and ping here with 100% uh, wet. So it's just a basic ping delay. What I'm doing is that in track one, I have a normal ping delay with number like three. The delay is three, feedback 60, blah, 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 blah. And on track two, I have the same ping delay, but here is utility which swaps panning. So now I will play them together without the swap trick. Okay, and now I will swap the panning of the ping delay on the second track. So what it means is that normally if you have a ping delay, typically you hear the first echo on the left and the second echo on the right. But uh, when you swap the panning, you hear the first echo on the right and the second echo on the left. Uh, so now I will swap the panning of the second layer. Okay, uh, I will repeat, so now, without the swapping. And now again with the ping swapped. Okay, so you hear the difference is kind of subtle, but very important. So if you want to get more space to your sounds, to separate the layers so that you can hear the more distinguished, uh, this is what you can do. So it makes the whole thing a bit bigger. And what it, what it also does, that if somebody is listening to your tune in front of one speaker, like only the left or only the right, which happens that they are very long time in front of one speaker. So they won't even hear, you know, how it sounds in stereo or how, or how it sounds in the right speaker. So I will demonstrate now. I will show you. I have in master here utility which shows only left channel. So I'll now enable it and you will hear only the left channel. So now I will disable the swap and you will hear how it sounds on the left channel without the swap. Okay, and now I put the swap again on, so you will hear how it sounds on the left channel with the swap on. So in 
my opinion, it makes it much more interesting, both for those that are listening in the middle and for those that are listening only one of the speakers. So this is my first tutorial. Uh, I'm planning for making some more tutorials, hopefully. I made the first one simple because I'm learning to make tutorials, so maybe I'll make more if people like them more. So if you like this and you will want to get more tutorials like this, you can support by liking, following, sharing, etc. on the links on the description of this video. So check them out and thank you very much for watching it. Thank you. Bye.